वी कैनॉट डू एनीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट लिविंग बिहाइंड द एविडेंसेस देयर विल बी एविडेंसेस फॉर व्हाट एवर वी डू इन दिस वर्ल्ड सिमिलरली एनी डिसीज दैट अफेक्ट्स द बॉडी विल डेफिनेटली लीव बिहाइंड इट्स एविडेंसेस फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टर्म अंटिल वी डाई any treatments given to the body also leaves behind evidences for the treatment given welcome back to ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners before we go to the topic today all of you kindly see this video kila varunga the patient you saw in the video is a 70 year old person who came to the ophthalmology opd with the symptoms of decreased vision in the left eye for the past 6 months on the history taking the patient revealed the patient has undergone a surgery for painless progressive loss of vision Nine months back in the left eye. Following surgery, the patient says the vision was very good in the left eye, but it slowly started decreasing for the past six months. When I checked the visual acuity of the left eye of the patient, it was only six by sixty. Then. as the patient has already given you the history of having undergone a surgery in the left eye i was eager to look for the evidence of the surgery undergone by the patient what will be the evidence for any surgery evidence for any surgery is a scar in this part of the video you must have noticed that above the cornea that is the superior portion of the sclera there was a frown shaped scar frown shaped scar the scar it is very very negligible to visualize you have to keenly observe how to examine the scar you have to pull the upper eyelid up and ask the patient to look down and you have to very keenly watch in the superior portion of the sclera cornea and around the cornea also that way you search for the scar when i examined i had this scar in this patient this was about 7 mm in length and it was in the sclera what does it say already we have learned in the previous video about where the scars are present in different types of cataract surgery by noticing this scar in the sclera i came to a conclusion the patient has undergone a manual small incision cataract surgery the next thing i wanted to look for is this video you must have noticed the pupil was black in color and on throwing the light from different angles there was a shimmering or glistening reflex noticed in the pupillary area this showed that there is a intraocular lens implanted in this patient summarizing this case The patient had decreased vision in the left eye for the past six months, 
which was progressive in nature. There was a history of surgery undergone by the patient in the left eye for painless progressive loss of vision. Nine months back, following which the patient who had good vision for three months, then only the vision started decreasing. There was a scar in the upper sclera which was about 7 mm in length, 2 mm above the limbus. The black color of the pupillary areas or lens was present. There was a shimmering or glistening reflex in the pupillary area. These were the important findings in this case. We cannot leave any one of these findings in this case. One of the most important finding many people fail to recognize is the scar. The scar sometimes may be very difficult to recognize because nowadays we are using very precise instruments. The surgeons are also very very experienced and skillful. They do the surgery very fast without damaging any tissues. In such a situation, sometimes, even though the scar will be present, it may not be visible to the eyes. When you don't appreciate a scar, even after a thorough inspection of the sclera and the cornea, you should mention in the examination that you searched for the scar and you are not able to appreciate it. You cannot skip this part of the finding in the presentation or writing the case sheet. That is very very important. You should be very true. You should not say that the scar is not present without seeing the case. So it is a very very important finding in case of any surgery done in the eye. So the scar will talk what surgery, what type of surgery the patient has undergone. From the above five points in the case presentation, I have come to a diagnosis in the left eye. Let us see what it is. The left eye pseudophakia, post manual small incision cataract surgery with decreased vision for evaluation. So this is how a diagnosis should be told. Now it is our turn to evaluate the patient why there is a decreased vision in the left eye even though the patient has undergone a treatment for decreased vision before itself. With this, I will stop this video. We will see how to approach this patient further in the next video.